Welcome to the TGN Minecraft Top 5s of the Week, where you choose what's in the list. Leave a like and a comment with your favorite top list for the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, make sure to click this notification button, and don't miss another upload. Boys and girls, today we're gonna look at some crazy cool Ghostbuster toys. And who are you gonna call when you have ghosts on me, Steve? Uh, Iron Man. Yep, that's right. Iron Man? Sammy Steve, uh, you call the Ghostbusters. And that's what we're reviewing today, the Ghostbusters. So let's get started. And these guys are from the new Diecast Metal series. They're not in the new movie, but they are in the old one. So the first figure we have is Ray Stance. And he's a pretty cool looking figure. And once you get him out of that package, he looks great all the way around. And these guys are also made out of metal, so they're pretty heavy too. Ooh, metal, yum. Ah, ow, 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 ow. Oh, Zombie Steve, did you hear what I just said? They're made out of metal, which means they're very hard too. <laughs> Next we have Egon Spangler. And here's another great looking figure that looks great all the way around. <laughs> Gotta love that old Egon. He is a dork though, but not as much of a dork as that stupid creeper guy. <laughs> ah! Who are you in here? <laughs> Go away! Ah! Next we have Winston Zedmore. Mm. And he's another great looking figure. Look at that. All right, three down, one more to go. Ah! Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Steve, they're metal, remember? <laughs> the last Ghostbuster, Peter Vinkman, we turn to the two-pack, which comes with an exclusive Slimer figure. Ooh. And this Dr. Vinkman looks pretty cool because he's been slimed. Ooh, look at that slime. And the reason he looks like that is because he's been slimed by Slimer. And this figure actually has movable arms. Cool. Oh, poor Dr. Vinkman. He's been slimed by Slimer. I wonder if it's as bad as getting creeped by a creeper. Ah, uh, uh, hi, creeper. Uh, you wouldn't blow up a puppet with glasses, would you? <laughs> uh, uh, he did. What a jerk. Finally, I have all four Ghostbusters. And they look awesome together. Now, if we look at the back of this package, we see there's one more figure, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Huh. Well, it looks like I don't have that one. This looks like a job for Enderman. Hey, Enderman! Go get me that Stay Puft Marshmallow Man! No. No. Alright! Thanks, Enderman! And at last, we have Stay Puft Marshmallow Man! And boy, is he one big, heavy, monstrous figure! He's so big that his arms and his head moves around exorcist style! Whoa! With all those ghosts around, there's only one person to call on for help! Batman! Yep, Batman! No, not Batman, the Ghostbusters! Oh, Zombie Steve, have you learned anything? No. <sighs> well, there they are! The Ghostbusters Metal Figures! Now, yes, I know there's a new Ghostbusters movie featuring girl Ghostbusters, but we don't need action figures of them. We just need action figures of the guys, because guys are cool. <laughs> Puppet Alex! Hey, Puppet Steve. This is a boy show. You can't be on this show. <laughs> How'd you get on here? Zombie Steve let me in. Zombie Steve? That traitor! Ah! <laughs> Boys and girls, today we're gonna have a puppet staring contest. And I'm gonna beat out old Zombie Steve. Right, Zombie Steve? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, Zombie Steve, so stupid. Anyway, uh, go! Come on, Zombie Steve. Come on, Zombie Steve, crack! No. Mm. What are you doing, Puppet Steve? Go away, Lego Batman! I'm having a puppet steering contest! 
A puppet staring contest? You guys realize you don't have eyelids, right? Uh, you're right! Ah! Hey boys and girls, welcome to another Puppet Steve show. And today we're reviewing, uh, Monster High Minis. What? This is a girl's toy. I can't review this. Hey Puppet Steve. I'll review it. I love Monster High. I'm taking over this review. Wait, what? Welcome to today's review with Puppet Alex. <laughs> Today we're reviewing Monster High Minis. In the first pack, we have Patty Noir, Abby Abominable. Her hair is all white with sparkles. I wonder if she's related to Elsa. Last, we have Claudine with button eyes. I'm not sure why she has button eyes, though. Button eyes? Is she related to Coraline? Go away, Puppet Steve. <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute. I found a checklist. It looks like there's different kinds of figures. And Claudine is a ragdoll ghoul. The checklist also tells you how rare they are. A blue skull is common. The yellow skull is uncommon. And the red skull means we need Captain America to save the day. <laughs> no, Steve. That means rare. Now let's open the second package. There's three more figures here. We have Laguna, Frankie, but she's a power girl. And the last one, we have Twyla. And on the checklist, it says she's a getting ghostly ghoul. There's one more pack left. The first one we have is Torlai. And the second one is Venus McFlytrap. And the last one we have is Drucky Laura. And she's also a ghostly ghoul. I think the ghost like ghouls are ghosts. Did somebody say ghosts? Uh oh, here come the Ghostbusters! Steve, leave me alone! <laughs> there are only nine Monster High minis out right now. They're small, they're cute, and they fit in my hand. My favorite one is the Guna. I like her because her hair is curly and she has blue in it. And we get two kitties. I like kitties. And I like dogs! Woof, woof, woof. Steve! <laughs> now, this is just the first series. And more will come out in the future. I can't wait for figures like Deuce, Rebecca Steen, and Skeleta. That is a complete series one of Monster High Minis. And these are perfect for any little girl. All right, all right, the review's over. Now get out of here. Oh, Steve, don't be jealous. <laughs> I'm not jealous. This is my show. I just, uh, all right, I'm jealous. <laughs> I heard that. And today we're looking at the new figures featuring Teen Titans Go! Huh, Teen Titans Go? Where are they going? To the bathroom? <laughs> no. Who's that, Steve? I was just kidding. Anyway, let's just open this and go! <laughs> Alright, so here we have six figures and a six pack. Boy, I hope I can get these out of here. First, we have Robin. And I like Robin because he's the leader and he's cool. But unfortunately, he's not as cool as me, Puppet Steve. Now we have Beast Boy. I like Beast Boy. He's funny. Do something funny, Beast Boy. Oh, that Beast Boy. <laughs> Was that supposed to be funny? No. Now we have Starfire. Oh, she's pretty cute, too. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, she's got cooties. That's what I meant. Uh-huh. What? What? That's what I meant. She's got cooties. Next, we have Cyborg, and Cyborg's half robot. Huh, I wonder what else he could do. It didn't say he could do that on the box. Whoa. Now we have Raven, and she's the mysterious one. Did she just move? Anyway, she's some. Stop that! Now we have Silky. Silky? <laughs> what a silly little bug. Don't call me little or else. <laughs> or what, you'll crush me with your big body or something? <laughs> ah! Well, there they are. All 16 Titan Go figures. 
So, hey there, Starfire. What are you doing this Saturday night? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Steve, go away. You're ruining this for me. <laughs> so, ah, she's gone. <sighs> Boys and girls, today we're gonna look at the Teen Titans Go playset called the T Tower. Boy, it makes me wish we had a puppet Steve Tower. Right, Zombie Steve? Uh, what? Yeah, a puppet Steve Tower. Puppet Steve Tower would be the coolest thing in the world because it's modeled after me, Puppet Steve. I'm the coolest. <sighs> anyway, let's take a look at the T Tower. Boy, this is one huge box for a playset. Wow. But there it is, the T Tower! Uh, huh, is that all there is? I thought there'd be more to it than this. Oh, wait a minute, there's a box full of pieces. Oh man, that means I have to put this together? Uh, where are those instructions at? Ah, oh, there they are. Oh man, these instructions look like they're printed in Chinese. No, upside down. Oh, <laughs> I knew that. There we go. Yeah. All right, time to put this together. So the ladder goes here, the satellite goes up here, and the rocket launcher goes up there. All right, well that wasn't too hard. Oh, cool. Now be careful with that, Zombie Steve. Wow. You don't want to shoot anybody's eyeball up. Ah! We also get the action figure of Cyborg. But wait a minute, what the heck is up with that face? I mean, what if we made those type of faces? She had the same face as the one in the action figure pack. Well, time to put him in jail for making that stupid face. Yeah, we'll teach him. Ha! But this place has all kinds of movable parts. This opens up. That opens up. Back opens up. Whoa! There's even a trap door that makes sounds. Uh-oh, so we call the police. And there are five different areas where you can place your Teen Titan friends. Unfortunately, they only give you one figure with this playset. That's why it might be a good idea to pick up the six-pack minifigure set. What? The six-pack, Zombie Steve, remember? No. The one right here. No. Oh, come on, Zombie Steve, we reviewed it yesterday. No. Ugh. Zombie Steve, you have one short-term memory. <laughs> with these figures, you can have all kinds of new adventures. Oh, hey, Starfire. What you doing tonight? Hey, what's going on here? Oh, go away, Robin. There it is, the Teen Titans Tower. Who knows what'll happen here? Oh, this tower's so cool. Well, I can play with this thing all day. Zombie Steve, what'd you do? I don't know. Zombie Steve? Well, maybe it'll go off in a second. <laughs> Zombie Steve? Make sure you subscribe to the Puppet Steve Show for more Puppet Steve in the future, right? Right. <laughs>